Darren, three weeks for that game. How have you made use of the time within the routines? Um, we've obviously worked on, you know, being good for us to get out on the training ground more and have more sessions on the training pitch. But we've obviously arranged a couple of friendlies, uh, which is obviously given the lads that haven't been playing regular in the league fixtures uh, some game time opportunity. So it's, overall, it's been really good, you know, to get up, like say, to work on stuff that we felt we needed to work on, uh, and obviously to give the players that haven't been getting in the in the league team uh, game time. Yeah, how useful is that time on the training ground where you're not putting all your focus into the game on the Saturday? Yeah, it's good and you, you can really identify the individual's needs really. So like you say, we you know, the players have all got their individual targets. So we you know, it's been it's been good for us as coaches in, and that's the all the staff to really focus on the on the players and the, and their individual needs, you know, not just on the not just on the training pitch, but obviously like you say, maybe in the gym or like you say, different things. And you had four lads go away with their countries. How old are they, though? Yeah, they're good. Uh, they come back now, so they're all smiling. Um, well, we've still got one away. Uh, Terry Taylor went with Scotland, and it was just a, a friendly fixture, his under-17s fixture. But I think, you know, they beat Wales twice, which I'm probably not happy about. But uh, And he's let me know that. Uh, and then Dan McKenna and Dan Soccer have been away with the under-19s European qualifiers, and both both countries have qualified. So it's great, great uh, for them that they're going to be in the uh, the next stage of the European qualifiers. How good is it that one or two yards have been noticed to get played in the 23s the other day? It's fantastic and you know I think that just shows what we're about at this football club. There is a pathway here. Scott watches the 18s a lot, watches training, will always in, include the under 18s players into it into his training sessions and it's been great for Elliot. You know, he thoroughly deserved it. He's been, you know, excellent on and off the pitch uh, for us and like I say it's been it was great for him to get his uh, first start on uh, Monday. How much are you looking forward to Saturday's game with Manchester United? Oh, it's a great, you know, it's, the lads are looking forward to it. You know, I'm looking forward to it. It's a you know, great opportunity to go to, like you say, one of the biggest clubs in the world. Uh, and like you say, it's, it's good for the academy to see, see where we are, uh, where we are at this stage of the season. Uh, and like you say, it's a, it's a different challenge. Like I say, it's a different challenge every week against different teams and different formations. How much does it feel like you're kind of making amends for the middle school defeat or has that been forgotten now? Yeah, it, 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 was, it was development. You know, we, we, we were disappointed with the result, but not overall performance. Uh, I thought until we had the long break in play, we probably were in control of the game and it seemed to affect our players more than their players. Um, uh, and then second half, the, the players' reaction and, you know, what they what they individually and as a team took from the game it was, was really pleasing for us. Like we said, it wasn't... It's, it wasn't about the results; it's about their development and how they, how they reacted to being two 0 down. Showed us, told us a lot really about their character. It's nice for us just itching to get back out there on Saturday now. Yeah, I think, like I say, it's been a bit of a long break, uh, and we just, like I say, we just were ready for the next league fixture. You know, we got a busy couple of months coming up with the, the league games, and obviously, the, you know, the potential. Obviously, we've got three cup games coming up: the two in the Premier Cup, and obviously, you know, the FA Youth Cup, which will be uh, upon us in December. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much.